Hey guys, uh, welcome back to class. We are working through our next tutorial. This is going to be um, on the pen extension, which is um, something new. We're just going to be drawing with our characters or our sprites. Okay, so let's take a look at how that works. Um, I will mention that I've been looking through work that I haven't marked anything yet, but I've been looking through the amount of work that you guys have submitted, and it's great. I'm really happy with uh, how much of the stuff is getting completed. I'm really pleased with that, which means people are doing it and, and um, understanding stuff, I think. Um, and I've looked through a couple of um, the pieces of work that have been submitted, and they look right. Um, I haven't gone through each one with a fine tooth comb yet, but I will, and then I'll return a mark for everybody. Um, but so far, so good. Um, I hope you guys are doing well with this and understanding it. It seems like you are, um, and I haven't had any major questions. Um, so just keep doing what you're doing, and I'll keep doing what I'm doing. Hopefully, we'll just keep on learning. I'm actually pretty pleased with how this, this unit is going. Um, this seems easier, like a lot easier than Flash, um, and if you guys are getting this at the level it looks like you are, um, that's great. It means that you guys are, it means that this is a little easier than Flash, it's easier to get your, your head around, um, and it's go, it seems to me that it's going well. All right, so let's get started. This is what we're doing, okay, 6.5. So I've got a new Scratch um, file open here. I'm gonna get rid of our cat, and we're gonna add in a pencil. We'll type in pencil, there it is, and I grab that. I'm gonna very quickly go to the costumes, because there are two costumes here and I prefer this one, so I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna make a quick change over here just to make it sit a little light there. I just darken this up by a little, it doesn't really matter, but uh, makes it easier to see. And then go back to our code. Okay, so we've got a pencil, which I'm gonna to set to minus 150 X and minus 140 Y. And I'm gonna set the size to maybe 25, not too small, maybe 50. Okay, and that should be okay with them right there. Um, next, uh, what we're looking at today is how to draw with a sprite. And it's actually pretty straightforward. This is not a very complicated um, tool or set of tools that we're going to be using, um, but it is something new. So what I'm going to have you do is go down here and click on this little Add Extensions button here. Um, and then it's going to give you a bunch of extensions. We don't need many of them. We're going to go to this first. Hopefully you guys see the same thing as me, I'm sure you do, uh, click on pen. Okay, and it's gonna add a whole new set here uh, called pen, all right, which is uh, uh, some new blocks. Okay, so let's first see what this does. Um, let's drag out pen down, and I'm gonna click on pen down. Um, and you notice there, if, if I go to my motion here, and I drag this guy out, and I click on it, while I have my pen down, it leaves this line. Okay, and if I make this let's say 25, it'll go 25, and it just leaves a line. Okay, um, and it goes in the direction that the pen is pointing. So this move um, 25 steps will just continue until it gets to an edge. When it gets to an edge, it uh, kind of gets weird. Um, it doesn't work exactly the way uh, you may think, but don't worry about it for now. Okay, so let's set that back to 90 and put this guy back where we had him at negative 150 and negative 140. Okay, and I turn the pen off by going down here, go pen up, okay, and I'm gonna click on erase all. I'm gonna set up these because we're gonna be using these fairly often and because they're not gonna necessarily be attached to any event, we can just click them while we're doing things. Um, so I suggest you do that as well, okay? Set up the pen down, pen up, and erase all. Um, all right, so uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up with the erase all like a reset button, which is going to erase anything we've drawn and just set this guy back to where he was. So we're going to go to motion. I'm going to say um, point in direction 90, which is where he is. And I'm going to say go to um, x negative 150 and y negative 140. So no matter what I do, if I go pen down and I move him a bunch of times and I click this, it's going to set him back. Oh, I should probably put in a erase all in there. We'll pen up, erase all, and there we go. Okay, so that's that's done. Okay, so that's that. Um, let's look at how we can now use this. So uh, one thing you might notice actually is let me just do this. Pen down, and I'm going to move a bunch of steps, and you'll notice that the the line is actually coming from the center of the pencil. Now. 
only because this is a pencil does that matter, but I've, I've purposely selected a pencil, so let's look at how you could fix that. Okay, so I'm going to go over to the costumes, and the reason that's happening is because it's drawing from the center because that's the center of where this um, graphic is. The computer doesn't know that this is a pencil, it's just a drawing to the computer, um, and it could be anything. It could be a bear, or it could be a ghost, or it could be a dinosaur. It just so happens that it's a pencil, and in our mind, the pencil should be drawing from the tip. Well, in the computer's mind, it's drawing from the registration point, and the registration point is in the middle here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this selection tool, and I'm going to drag a selection over everything, okay? And then when I move this, you'll see there's that registration point I'm talking about, okay? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the pencil down right at that point. I'm going to zoom in a little, and I'm actually going to have it so that it just kind of overlaps like a little bit so that that pencil lead is right, not right on the point here, like the points here. It's going to go a little further down. Um, and the reason for that, I'll talk about it later, but uh, it'll make it so that when the pen is following uh, the mouse, it works the way we want it to. Okay, so that's done. I can hit this so I can zoom out and center this as I'd like. That looks okay. That's not actually doing anything to our, our custom, um, costume. And we can go back to our code. All right, now notice that the pencil is now realigned based on where that line was. Now when I move 25 steps, it looks as if it's coming from the tip. Okay, so all that's happened is where that registration point is, the pen has been moved kind of up and to the right. Okay, all right, let's pen up, erase all, oops, there, okay. Um, that seems to need two clicks for some reason. Anyways, all right, let's move on. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to, um, using some of the functions that we know, like the loop function or the repeat function, I should say, um, and our move function and the pen up, pen down, we're going to do a couple of things. First, we're going to make a line. Um, so to create a line, we need it to have uh, our pen come down. So I'm going to grab the pen down. I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to say move. 25 steps and I'm going to add it to um, an event. I'm going to make it a uh, up arrow. Okay, so when I click the up arrow, the pen is going to go down. It's going to move 25 steps. So up arrow, nice. Okay, and every time I do it, it repeats. Easy. Next, I'm going to reset everything. Pen up, erase all, resets my position. I'm going to try something different. I'm going to I'll leave this here. Okay. And I'm going to add something that's going to draw a square. So we can look at this and sorry, sort of say, okay, well, I know that the pen needs to go down, needs to move a certain number of steps, and then it needs to turn. Okay, well, let's add in our, our event. Um, and we're going to change this to, let's make this the down arrow. And the down arrow is going to say pen down, and it's going to say move, let's say, 100 steps, uh, maybe 50. 50 steps, um, and then once it's moved 50 steps, we're going to have to turn it. So let's grab a turn, and we're going to make it turn uh, 90 degrees. Okay, and then what's going to happen is once it goes over here and it turns, we need it to go 50 more steps. So I could take this and put in a 50, and then put in another 90, but this is a very inefficient way to do this, right? We're going to, because what's going to happen now is it's going to do this, it's going to 1, 2, and then I've got to add more of these steps. There's a, obviously a better way to do this. So let's erase all and try this again. I'm going to get rid of this one. We're going to keep this part, okay, the move 50 and turn 90. But we're going to put it in a loop so that it does this how many times? Four times, right? Four times because we're making a square. So let's go to our control and we're going to say repeat and we're going to say repeat four times. I put that there and I drag this guy into here. So now actually I'm going to make that 100 because that Square looked a little small. 100. All right. So when I go, when I press my down arrow, pen down, four times it's going to move 100. It's going to turn uh, and repeat that step. So I do this, and there's my square. Okay, and it returns back to where it was. Okay. Erase all. Do it again. Great. Perfect. Um, I can make some changes. As I can. So because we're doing this at 90, say I wanted this to make um, a five-sided. Um, shape. I can make it 5 and then this is actually 72. I've already done some math in my head here. 72 degrees. Let's clear that and run this. Okay, so now it goes 5 times uh, with an a angle change of 72 um, to make up my 360 degrees. Now that's, you know, I've got to do a little bit of math every time I do that. There's actually an easier way to do that. I can take an operator 
which is here. And I can take my, my operators, I can take my divide. Now, because I know that I, I need to get it back to this point, which is 360 degrees, I can actually use that to replace this. Instead of having to put, you know, do the math and, and make, um, uh, come up with this number, I can actually just put this operator in here and say 360 divided by five, because I'm repeating this five times, so I have five corners, and I want to divide my 360, 360 degrees, by five, which is an easier way to do the same thing. Let me erase this, okay, and it does the same thing. So now I can change this to say seven and seven, and it'll do again the same thing. Okay, so it does all seven. If I erase that and I make it eight, it's doing the math for me, just to make this a little easier. And that's a much more efficient way to do that. Okay, um, easy. Uh, next, so we've got kind of a few things happening here. We can draw triangles and you know, octagons and whatever. That seems quite straightforward. Um, so the next thing that I want you to try based on this um, is, you know, go through this, try this, make sure that you're able to do that. And then I want you to try and make a dotted line and a dotted square, okay? And so you're going to be basically using what's here with a little bit of problem solving. The problem solving is how do I make it so that it, the pencil, draws a line, uh, whatever, so let's make it a five on, five off kind of um, dotted line, okay? So it's gonna draw a line, and then it's gonna move again five steps without drawing a line, okay? So obviously you're gonna be using the pen up and the pen down function, and you're gonna be using sort of something similar to this, but there's sort of a, a major missing element from this to make it do the, the sort of spacing, right? The dot on, off, on, off, on, off. Um, so there's probably a few ways to do it. I want you to see if you can do it as efficiently as possible. Okay, so um, I went through and I tried this and it works. It works just fine. Um, and so the challenge here is to make a uh, line, a dotted line that is 100 steps and the whole thing is five on, five off. And then the second part is to make a dotted square that is 100 by 100. Okay, so 100 um, steps each side. And again, five on, five off. Okay, um, you should apply a different event for each of them. Okay, so you'll have, um, maybe it'll be a right arrow and left arrow. Okay, and you're going to take something similar to this and, and add it here. And then you're going to do the same thing over here for your square. Okay, so you'll have a line, uh, uh, 100 space or 100 step line that's dotted and a, a 100 by 100 um, step square that is uh, dotted. Okay, um, and I think that's it. Save it as 6.5 under your name uh, underscore pen extension and then upload it to Google Classroom and hopefully, hopefully it'll work for you guys. Um, I think, let me save this and then I can go just check my yeah, so let me just click on this. So I did part of this already. So this is what it should look like. Um, oh, I can't do it because I, I, oh wait, I think it was one of the keyboard functions. I can't, oh there, spacebar. Okay, so that's what it should look like. 100 by 100 by 100, okay? Uh, and a dotted line, five on, five off. And I don't have the line here because I didn't do the code for that, but you get the idea. All right, uh, and that's it. Good luck. I hope you guys figure it out and um, I'll post the solution uh, maybe tomorrow, um, and then you can check your solution against my solution and see if you had kind of figured out the most efficient way to do this. Um, in addition, I will also try and go through and add some marks in Classroom for some of the completion tasks um, so that we can get a sense of how people are doing. All right, guys, take care, and we'll talk again soon.